The mission of the Centre for Disease Vector Research is to develop new technologies that will alleviate the uh, burden exacted by insects that uh, vector uh, many, many pathogens of uh, human disease. The new opportunities for insect control in our centre come about through the composition of our faculty and through recent advances in genomics, genetics. So the reason our work is fundamentally important is that throughout our history uh, we've always been battling with insects in order to have a thriving civilization. My research concerns uh, two aspects of mosquito biology. We are studying mosquitoes because they are vectors of numerous devastating uh, human diseases such as malaria, dengue virus, West Nile encephalitis and others. In my laboratory we are studying uh, mechanism regulating egg development in mosquito females which are transmitting these uh, pathogens. Mosquitoes have immune system uh, simpler than ours nevertheless very complicated and part of this immune system controls proliferation or growth of pathogens. So the second part of our research uh, comes from the understanding how a mosquito takes blood, acquire pathogens, and these pathogens uh, utilize mosquito organism to their advantage. So in my laboratory we are trying to understand uh, what factors uh, can control malaria, let's say, or other pathogens within mosquito organism, and whether we can interrupt uh, or enhance these factors to interrupt transmission cycle. So in, in our lab, uh, we're really trying to understand the biology of the malaria parasite infecting humans, so trying to understand how the parasite replicates inside the red blood cell. Today we still have 1 billion people being at risk of contracting the disease, with 400 to 500 million people becoming newly infected every year and approximately 1 million people dying of malaria every year. So that's the, the fair uh, today and because most of the drug targeting the infection, now the parasite beca is becoming resistant to almost every drug on the market, we definitely need to find new drug quickly um, if we want to eradicate the disease. In the lab we've been using a lot of different genomic technologies and we are not looking only at one gene at a time, we're really trying to look at uh, the 5,500 gene coding uh, inside the plasmodium genome and usually by getting a global view uh, we find new discovery, a new pathway and you can later on target more specifically protein that could be uh, interesting new target uh, against malaria. So most insects, including disease-carrying insects, find their hosts, like human beings or plants, using the sense of smell. So one of the main aspects of our research is trying to not only understand how the insect can detect odors from a human being and find the human being, but also how we can disrupt this pathway. So in the nose of the insects, there are various types of sensors that can detect. These are specialized cells which can detect different types of chemicals. And so what we do is if we can block these cells that are required to detect a human being, we can try to block the ability of the mosquito to find the human being and find the odor source. So we are in the process of finding novel insect repellents and lures that can be used to control mosquitoes that transmit deadly diseases for people to use in California and in other parts of the country. We have to keep the fight going so that we're developing new technologies that stay ahead of these incredibly dangerous insects and in doing so we'll be able to develop uh, technologies that will enable our children and our grandchildren to remain well-fed and healthy. <laughs>